I, I, I you know, I, I had manic depression before I started, so obviously, I'm gonna deal with it even after I started music, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've only seen a professional um, once in my life, mm. and by uh, professional professionals, I mean like uh, like medical, like actual healthcare, like professionals. Mm -hmm. um, so, I I I. I've probably mentioned it before, but I I had to have a bunch of sessions with a psychiatrist and a psychologist at the same time uh, at Stanford Medical Center. So th these were real doctors, and I had like tests done, and they had to talk to me, and they were like naming the symptoms of like they're like, have you? In the re in the recent few days, have you done this? Have you done this? And I said yes to him, and it was basically like for like manic depression, right? Mm, yeah. And literally, I had somehow done all of those things. And uh, anyways, that was that was the only time that where I was like literally like like sitting with legit professionals. But other times, I had these situations where like I would. You know, my parents would have me talking to someone, a professional, to help me because I was, you know, like they didn't understand what was going on with my emotions. Mm. And it would be like a pastor at some church. Yeah. And he's giving me all the wrong advice, you know? Yeah. At, at points, calling me a sinner. Which is seriously like the worst thing you can possibly do to some kid who's trying to figure things out. Like putting their problems onto them. Yeah, and also also like also uh like just labeling emotions with good and bad or yeah. good and evil. This doesn't work. That's not how you do th that, right? And I'm like, this guy's not a professional. Um and or or I would be in a in a situation where someone would pretend to be a professional. Because they're like, you know, they're like an adult or something. Yeah. And they, you know, they were a PE teacher. You know? <laughs> Physical like, health. Yeah. And, yeah. And they're they're not they're not certified to be dealing with the mind. But um they try and I mean I'm I kudos for trying, but you're not gonna get the best advice. Yeah. Right? And another thing is uh after I became a uh, like a known person here, um, I I you know I ha I had manic depression before I started, so obviously I'm gonna deal with it even after I started music, right? Mm -hmm. And there were moments where I needed, I really needed help, like professional help. And the thing is, my label would advise me, um, well. They had to advise me because they were worried for me. But what they would tell me is, uh, if I go see someone, even though it's going to be have to be kept confidential, and even though that's the way it should be, it's unfortunately not going to be a guarantee. Yeah. Because people will see you walking in and out. Um, someone working there will see you, even if the doctor is not the one. Um, and… At the time when I was talking about this with the label, that was a while, like a long time ago. So, um, like having that, you know, public as public knowledge would not be very good. Mm -hmm. So there was like a stigma, and that prevented me from going to someone. You know. Yeah. And I had to work it out on my own. And that it would like hurt you to even seek help. Yeah. Amazingly enough, I did work it out on my own. Bless. But that that's a blessing. Yeah. That's, that, I was just lucky. I'm I'm still not even sure if I did really. Yeah. Luckily, my sister like studied clinical psychology hmm. um, before she studied law. So like she's able to kind of talk to me on both sometimes. Um but you know she's not around anymore. She's like in in she's like in Virginia, oh, which is very far away from Seoul. Yes. Um, but yeah, like a lot of times I felt like you know I I 
couldn't get help for all the wrong reasons. And like… And that's, that's, that totally sucks. And to this day, a lot of… Um, you know, I, I told you a lot of people call me to, to maybe like get a number for, for like a professional. You loved this clip, didn't you? Go listen to the whole episode on any podcast platform. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications on this channel so you never miss a thing.